Ladies and gentlemen, it is almost time for the Russian roulette. Are you ready for this ref? This is going to be an interesting one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to explain the rules of the match. This match will last between two and five rounds. At the beginning of each round, Mr. Fish, our illustrious owner, will spin, will spin the Russian roulette wheel. That will determine the stipulation for that match. Now there are a number of stipulations. We've got a step ladder match. The ceilings are low, ladies and gentlemen, the ceilings are low. It was nearly a pages match. We also have, hey people laugh, we also have a submission. It can also be musical chairs. A vodka drinking contest. A street fight. A sing off. Or an over the top battle royale. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll remind you once more the match winner needs to win two rounds. The first wrestler to win two rounds wins the match and both the North East and Calling Spots Championships. Do you understand the rules? Are you sure? Do you think I'm sure? Do you think he's sure? Let's see what happens. Okay, the following match is scheduled for two to five balls. Kozlov, your reigning and defending North East champion. Oh, he's really captured the hearts, the minds and the imagination of the MEW faithful ever since he turned up here on the shores of Newcastle via Moscow, via Leeds. Very complicated. Tonight, Boris Kozlov puts that North East championship on the line in, in very... I want to say unique circumstances. As you've just heard, Russian roulette rules. Oh man, this is, this is going to be one that we're going to have to really take a deep dive into. So fasten your seatbelts. For the MEW Northeast Championship, we welcome player two. We welcome Show Rage. Oh, it's been a tumultuous year for little brother Joe. We saw big brother Joe turn his back on his own flesh and blood just a few months ago after. Benji and Joe lost the MEW Tag Team titles. The, the Brothers of Rage were divided by Rage. And now Joe goes alone. His first opportunity at the MEW Northeast Championship. Can he make it count? 
Big love for MEW's former tag team champion, Joe Rage. Very much a big part of the landscape here at Main Event Wrestling. And now... All the marbles on the line for this one, including that calling spots championship in the hand, in the casual wrist lock of one Aaron Echo. A huge Scottish prodigy who has made a name for himself away from Scotland in places like MEW. We're carrying that calling spots championship and we thank our our supporters calling Spots Magazine. Put out wrestling publications every single month. They introduced a championship into the wrestling world a while back and Aaron Echo, I believe only the second person to hold that belt. The other person is HT Drake, but we're not talking about him right now. We're talking about Aaron Echo, Scottish superstar walk away with two belts tonight. And your final entrant. Take it away. Dragon and myself, which I believe helped. You're welcome, Matt Brooks. Regardless of that, an incredibly talented performer with a huge upside and quite the falsetto. Could he turn that opera charm into championship gold tonight? Fatal four way Russian roulette rules. Boris. That's what I said, Boris. Bitch, spin! 
in that wheel. Make that deal. Submission match. First submission wins the fall. Takes the lead in the first ever. The inaugural Russian roulette match. Look at this. Matt Brooks was ready. Ah. Oh. If Kurt Angle did Ness and Dormer, he'd be Matt Brooks. Oh, now an echo. Immediately taking over on Matt Brooks. So this is how it's going to roll. Every time we have a fall, we have a decision, we will spin the wheel, make the deal. And this will continue until we have ourselves a confirmed MEW Northeast champion and calling spots champion. Four incredibly diverse athletes taking part in this one. Look, I mean, at this point in time, if if, if Boris submits, is that a win for Echo or is that a win for Rage? It's hard to tell. It's oh wait, Matt Brooks. What's Matt Brooks? Oh, eardrum submission. That's new. Angle slam. And Brooks. Going all Kurt Angle with an ankle lock on Aaron Echo. Oh, look at, we could, act one could be over in a hurry for Opera Mania if he can get Aaron Echo to tap out. And this Boris from behind takes down Brooks. Oh, these, this is such a unique environment to wrestle in. None of these guys, they, they barely know each other in the ring. They don't even know the stipulations. Double camel clutch action. Oh, and whoever taps first. Is gonna, someone's going to get a point. If Brooks taps now, it's the point to Boris. If Echo taps, it's a point to Joe. Oh, Joe and Boris dropping bombs. This gives Echo and Brooks a chance to, to bust out of there. Certainly no catches, catch can submission technique in those heavy right hands from Big Joe and Boris. Russian leg sweep. Straight into that Kremlin cross face. Boris has got it in tight. Oh, Brooks on the outside can't get in. Echo can't get in either. And Joe Rage, as big as he is, he can't make that rope. Boris gets the point. So Boris is in the lead. We are going to spin the wheel once again to determine the next four, the next stipulation. Russian roulette rules. Seats, you get the heat. Oh, and Joe Rage is out. Oh, devastating. Imagine tapping out and losing at musical chairs in the same match. Joe Rage may be the only person in history that may be able to say that. We've still got a long way to go in this Russian roulette match. Three men, two chairs. Tension. Like WrestleMania 17, Rock Austin with musical jazz and not Rock Austin. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, Kozlov 
hoisted by his own roulette. So the finals of the musical chairs round. It's Aaron Echo, it's Matt Brooks. Only one can survive musical chairs. History will be made in moments. Cut the tension with a knife here in, here in the Innisfree. Brooks and Echo sizing the Oh, are you kidding me? The long vent and screw job! Echo cheating his way to a point! Oh that's no, that's not family friendly. Aaron Echo, the winner of the second point, the second fall in this Russian roulette match. I'm presuming we, we may not get musical chairs again, so maybe now we might get a wrestling match. Who knows? Different use of chairs in this one. Oh, and everyone had the same idea. They want to pop the weasel. Oh, Echo in a bad place. Finding himself without a chair. Look at this chair wars. See, this is wrestling. This is how you use chairs in wrestling. Not the most comfortable of chairs to hit with. Rage, Kozlov and Brooks abandoning the chairs and taking it to the streets. A long Benton street fight here at MEW. So, to keep you up to speed, Boris Kozlov has a fall. Aaron Echo has a fall. If Matt Brooks and Joe Rage can each get themselves a fall, we go to a tie break fall. I mean, it may not come to that if Boris can survive the street fight. If Aaron Echo can get a pinfall over one of these guys, he's, he's the double champ. Russian roulette match has been all kinds of unorthodox so far. Echo and Rage fighting by the bar. Oh, this is, the, this is the, the, the fun of the MEW of MEW's Northern Bash. If you come to an MEW show, you are amongst the action. You may get a wrestler in your lap. For some, that's a, that's a great night out. Oh, meanwhile, Echo, oh, low blow! Aaron Echo looking to stop the Kozlov dynasty. Big shot with that chair to the guts of Brooks. You can't outpower Joe Rage. Swinging and Echo doing the right thing and getting out of there. Oh, you have to believe a street fight is in the wheelhouse of one of the brothers of Rage. Anderson Spinebuster. And there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of round three, the street fight, Joe for Joe Rage. So now everybody has a fall except Matt Brooks. Brooks in a, in a tough position. I have a funny feeling Matt Brooks is about to get that fall he needs. A sing-along. Sure thing! Okay, so I've consulted my MEW rule book. The rules of an MEW sing along. Each wrestler sings a bit of a song. Crowd decide the winner. Well, I need to know if I can hold it all first, you know what I mean? Well, that's how I'm going to hold it all. I'll just see if I can hold it all because I don't know any songs that's probably heavy. 
get too exhausted. There we go. Ah! Well, not there. Let's move on. And he can, he can break up. He can. Do you know what? He can break a body just as well as he can break a song. Well done, Joe Rage. Good effort. Oh, here we go. Russian pop idol winner, 10 years running, Boris Kozlov, apparently Vladimir Kozlov's favourite busker. Kozlov. Brooks is, Brooks is still out from that spine buster. Anyway, we get away with just making words up and singing a wee tune. This match is as farcical and pathetic as each and every single one of you. And then come spending six and a half hours on a running track to come here to sing. Not fancying a not fancying a warble tonight. I was hoping he'd channel Annie Lennox or Eddie Reader. Forward did the sing song and oh Brooks is up and Brooks is calling for the mic of course he has music ready for this Italy, Andrea Bocelli has just started crying and he doesn't know why. Oh, Romania, beyond a shadow of a doubt, wins the fall. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a apart from one throw's fall, but it's clear that the winner, Matthew Brooks from Romania. Come on, compose yourself. 
suppose you say. Anyway. Final spin of the wheel. Final fall in the Russian roulette match. Ladies and gentlemen, the North Beast title. We're calling for a title. We'll be decided. In an over the top rope, Battle Royale. Ah, let's take it old school. Battle Royal rules. Oh, wait, Echo. Oh, come on. Brooks. Cheap shotted. And thrown over the top by Aaron Echo. Oh wait, look at this. Bye-bye, Echo. Aaron Echo has been eliminated. See all that means? That means someone's about to become a double champion. Aaron Echo has lost the calling spots title. Hold the back page of Calling Spots magazine, because we're going to crown a brand new Calling Spots champion and an undisputed Northeast champion. It's Boris and Joe Rage. The power of Joe Rage, the technical wizardry and the vodka of Boris Kozlov. Back and forth, these two go dropping bombs on one another. Beloved by the MEW faithful. Everybody wins here. Spine Buster. But only one leaves with two belts. Oh, there goes Boris. Oh, just hanging on. Skin in the cat ski. Kozlov still in the fight. Oh, kick below the belt by Joe. Joe Rage powers Kozlov into the corner. Round and round these two go. Russian missile! These two have fought through a submission match. Stunner! They fought through a submission match. A musical chairs war. A street fight. I guess a singing contest. And Rage! Oh my god! The biggest cat skin! In history! Last time a cat like that was skinned, it was prehistoric! Oh, Joe Rage muscles up Boris! Boris fights back through it! A gutsy performance by both men! Swing and a miss by Boris! Rage pushes through! Kozlov holds on, he can't hold on any longer! Both men fell down! But get the official word, there it is! Both men went over the top, but Joe Rage hit the floor last by inches. Joe Rage wins this match and Joe Rage is your new Northeast champion and your new calling spots champion. Oh, Boris looks beside himself. This Happen here, Joe Rage offering the hands of Boris Kozlov. Touch of class by Boris Kozlov. Tonight was not his night, but tonight belongs to your new calling spots champion, to your new MEW Northeast champion in one of the most unorthodox matches we have ever seen. The likes of which we may never see again. 
four men went to war, a Russian roulette war. And when the dust settled on the streets of rage, it's all about Joe. He lost a tag team partner and a brother in the same year. Tonight, he gained back his dignity, he gained back his self-respect, and he gained two bits of gold in the process. Your new Calling Spots champion and your new MEW Northeast champion, Joe Rage. Big night for Big Joe. And still to come, the MEW British Heavyweight Championship on the line later tonight. Prince Amin goes for it all.